Hi, I'm Tricia and I'm founder of Look Fabulous Forever, which is makeup, skincare and hair care, all specifically formulated to suit people who are a bit older, like I am. And uh, today I want to share with you some of my top tips around eye makeup, things that will help you to make your eye makeup look as, um, as fabulous as possible. So um, looking at my face, which I've made up apart from my eye makeup, you can see that uh, there is a sense in which something is missing. And uh, I always think that there is a balance with makeup between what you put on your face, what you put on your eyes, and then what you put on your lips. And if that's in balance, then obviously your face looks better. Uh, if it's not in balance, as I think it, at the moment it, it isn't, uh, the, the lack of eye makeup means that my face is dominated by what I put on my, uh, what I put on here and here, and uh, it looks a bit empty across this bit here. So I'm going to rectify that by applying some lovely makeup. I will say to, uh, right at the start that if you find applying makeup difficult because you can't see very well, or you and or you wear glasses all the time, then glasses are a fantastic way to add that balance because as soon as you put glasses on, you create a bit more weight around this top half of your, uh, of your face and that can balance the effect of the other makeup that you've put on. So I would always say, don't panic too much if you're a glasses wearer. Try and put a bit of mascara on, that always helps. But your glasses, especially if you choose some right, quite jazzy glasses, some glasses with a bit of colour, with some great frames and so on, uh, they can make all the difference. Now with eyes, you usually start with your eyebrows um, and it's about framing. So we've got the eyebrows at the top and the lower lashes at the bottom. And it's that area that we're always looking at when we're doing eye makeup. And the thing about brows is that they really are very important and they, and they tend to become less um, noticeable, um, fade a bit as we get older, they might have disappeared altogether. Now my top tip for brows is to do with where you, uh, where you put them, <laughs> where you place them. Um, I've got a reasonable guideline for my own brows because of what I've got left, but I always do this little uh, measuring thing, and this is my tip, tip for you, to make sure that they're the right distance apart here and the right length here, and then that the arc, arch bit is in the right place. Now, the, the width here is really important, and it should balance the width of the base of your nose if, it's, if they're too close together, your face will look odd. If they're too wide apart, your face will look odd. It will look unbalanced. And we're always looking for balance in a face. It's one of those things that defines beauty. If you look at a very good looking person, look at their photograph, you'll, you'll see that that side of their face is a mirror image, pretty much, of that side of their face. There's almost total sim symmetry. Have a look at somebody that you find incredibly attractive and handsome. I've got the person that I think of like that in my mind. I'm not going to share that with you. But uh, he, and it is a he, has a very symmetrical face. So, using the brow shape, and I'm going to use blonde here, I'm going to make sure that I put my brows in the right place. So, starting with this measurement here, obviously they're going to have to start, the brows need to start from there and starting from here my brows need to start from there and then the length of my brows so starting from here and going out to the side I need to make sure that they finish somewhere there and here going out to the side that they finish somewhere there you see how that works now that looks really, really odd. I'm looking in a mirror now, and, and of course I've created this, this real oddness, uh, odd-looking uh, effect. But it's quite a useful thing to get used to. Where do I need to start? Where do I need to finish? And then the arc in the middle is the centre of the eye, so you take it through the like the pupil, and then that's where your arch needs to go. So I've got a natural arch in that point, so I don't really need to find it because I've already got it there. Okay, so having done that, I probably need to get rid of those marks a little bit uh, by using my spoolie. I just, I can do that quite easily by just spooling and brushing through the product. There we go. Okay. 
and then I can actually start applying my blondy coloured uh, brow shape. I'm using blonde at the moment, I'm quite liking it. Um, our blonde isn't too orangey or yellowy, uh, it's actually quite taupey like, taupe colour. And I think it, it's pretty close, pretty close to the colour of my brows as they are. My brows have not gone grey. They're not as brown as they used to be, as dark as they used to be. So I, I was using the brown for quite a long time. But when we developed this blonde, I discovered that I, I really liked it. It wasn't quite so hardcore as the brown, but it was still really nice on me. So remembering that I've just got to bring the tail end of the, the brow down to that point that I marked to ensure that it's that my brows are the right length. If I get in close, perhaps you can see. And then remember, I want to start them so that they are balanced with the base of my nose. So I've applied my brow shape now. I think my brows are fine. And I'm just going to use the spoolie just to... Um, just to make sure that I've blended that nicely. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do, again, top tip, always use an eye primer. I've actually applied my eye primer already. So um, the eye primer, in fact, that's an old eye primer I've got there, and it comes in a tube, and uh, you just put a little bit on the back of your hand and uh, uh, spread it over your eyelid. Don't put too much on. And now I'm going to start thinking about shaping my eyes. I'm going to use a, our Cool Blues Trio palette because I like it a lot. It's one of my favourites. And uh, obviously there are three colours there and it's about where to put those colours. So I'm going to start with the lightest. And the thing about the light colours, which in the case of the Cool Blues is just the, the, the pale grey, it's just about giving your eyelids a little bit of nice smooth colour without it being particularly heavy um, but is actually really flattering. Again top tip remember that light colours draw the eye forward or when, when people are looking at you they, they come forward towards the, uh, the person looking at you and dark colours make um, what the person is looking at recede so create shadows and contrast of tone so very simple um, applied with a brush and just swept over my lids I don't think you need any top tip for how to do that it's very straightforward but my, my next top tip comes with the application of the the middle color in this case it's, it's bluebell that middle color it's like well okay what are you going to do with that? And there are a number of different things you can do with this mid-tone colour. You could just use it as wash all over your eye, uh, eyelids, and I often do that, if I, especially if I'm in a hurry. I think I'm not going to have something that's quite pale and um, not very noticeable. I'm actually going to use the mid-tone colour and put it all over my eyelids. But this time I'm going to use it uh, for a bit of socket creating or shaping. And I'm going to use a different brush. And I'm just going to allow that colour. Now, one of the things that's really helping me here to shape this is the cotton pad. Fortunately, the cotton pad is round. The shape that I'm trying to create is rounded. It's not straight. And so the thing that can help me to do that best is this pad, because it's the absolutely perfect shape me to do what I need to do and again it's not difficult it shouldn't take you long and I'm using the fatter of the uh, the number seven brush which is quite a fat one and it it is quite easy then to create quite a nice shape with that a little bit of blending always do a bit of blending and that makes sure that it really looks nice. We have a new brush, everybody. Um, it's quite an exciting new brush. We're calling it the Small Blending Brush. And I'm just going to show you how you might be using that now. And again, I'm going to be using it with the Bluebell colour. And instead of um, 
up here, which is where I've done it up till now. I'm now going to put a little bit of that colour, Bluebell, using this new brush. I'm going to put it on this outer edge of my eyelid. Remember, I've covered my eyelid with the, the palest colour. Now I'm just going to use it literally on that outer edge. Can you see? So using my lovely little brush, which is just such a perfect shape for doing this. You'll find if you use this brush as opposed to the, the fatter one, you can be a lot more precise. So remember, you're just constantly checking in the mirror to make sure that you're happy with the way that your ways that your eyes are, are shaping up. So a little bit of blending and I am very happy with that. Now the next thing that I need to do is to make sure that my, um, my lash line, so this area here, along here, is really well defined and looks its best. And I'm going to do that using one of our absolutely brilliant new eyeliner pens. These have been phenomenally popular, I'm glad to say. They've become one of our best sellers very quickly. And I think it's because they've um, they've obviously answered um, something that you've uh, that you've wanted, so um, been asking for. So we've answered that, and also because they're so brilliantly easy to use and they look terrific. They're a propelling pencil. The um, the makeup of the the um, the eyeliner is quite soft, so it's smudgeable. You don't get a hard line. You can create something that's quite smoky. And uh, as I said, they're pretty easy, pretty easy to apply. So top tips again, do that trick of just spreading and creating a bit of tension in the skin when you're applying. Um, it's very difficult for me to apply this in the screen that I've got here. So I'm going to just turn to my mirror so I can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, OK, so I'm just going to rub that pencil. along my lash line, keeping it as close to my lash line as I possibly can. See that? And then I'm going to bring it down just underneath, but only on that outer edge because I don't really want to take it all the way along. It's going to be too heavy and I feel it closes my eye in quite a lot okay so that's that I don't contrast that with that so that you can see where I've done the, the line I don't want it to be thick I don't actually want it to be particularly noticeable I just want it to be able to make my eye look a better shape and better defined and I think you can see quite clearly the contrast between this eye and this eye where I've applied it and where I haven't so let's do the other eye I can get this a similar kind of effect. So pulling the skin taut. And again, just using uh, quite small strokes. That's what I do. And then remember that bottom area, just the outer just the outer edge, that's all I do. I don't go right down to the inner corner of my eye with the liner at the bottom. Okay, so again, sitting back, looking, I feel that's reasonably even. Now I'm very happy with that eye makeup. I think I'm going to just finish with uh, my mascara um, and, I'll and I'm going to then tell you why I'm happy with it happy with the way it looks so again mascara is our normal black live lash mascara I absolutely love it I I like I do like the brush we're looking at bringing in and having a choice of brushes because you've asked that for that which is absolutely fine but I actually like this quite thick brush because I find it helps me to apply my, my mascara in a way that doesn't make my eyelashes clump together 
Okay, so I think that's me done with my eye makeup. I hope I've given you enough tips there for you to be able to follow those and get your eye makeup looking better. And I feel that now I've completed my eye makeup, my face is, is much better balanced in terms of the three areas that I've been uh, beautifying with my makeup. My face, obviously, then my eyes and my lips. And if those three things are in balance, then we, when people look at your face, they think, oh, she looks nice. And I think that that's what you want people to say to you. In fact, I had a lovely com compliment the other day. Um, I was chatting to somebody and she suddenly said to me, I just want to tell you how nice you look. <laughs> I was like, oh, thank you. Um, and I, th I think it, I gen generally do think it was because she was a stranger, by the way, um, that, that it's because I try very hard to get my face to, to look balanced. So people aren't saying, oh, your makeup looks nice. They're saying, you look nice. And that's because you're creating that kind of impression that uh, you've made an effort, you're looking your best, but also the, the uh, products that you've used have created an effect which uh, works well to create an overall impression of somebody who uh, looks good, looks fabulous forever. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I love making these videos for you. I always hope they're helpful. I always hope you pick something up from them that uh, you didn't know. And uh, I also hope that they, uh, they encourage you to experiment, not to get stuck in a rut, to try different colors, to try different techniques, to try different products, and uh, that you enjoy using them. If you like this video, please, please subscribe to uh, my channel on YouTube, which is Trisha Custon channel. Uh, like the video, uh, comment below, ask questions. We like engagement and we will reply to you. The more activity that you can put into watching the, the videos and, uh, and participating with us, um, the better. More people find them and uh, we love to spread the word. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.